One, two, one, two. Check it out, y'all. Yo. You are now rocking with the best. I go by the name of the world famous Puff Daddy, representing the Harlem world, New York, New York. And you know how I get down in that VIP. You know what it is, VIP Saturday, Superstar J. It's your homie, Gray Rizzy, man. Yo, yes. Superstar J, I just want to say something real quick. Uh-huh. When, you in the, when you in like the honor of breath in the presence of greatness, yeah. you got to say yes. a couple things, man. Uh, the light is different. About, you got, the light is definitely different, but I want to talk from a, from I a clean sense. My, I clean my fucking fingernails and all that I saw type you of shit. Do that. Yeah. I saw you do that. <laughs> I want to just drop a quick memory. When you was in a small office fucking yeah. with niggas from the gas station, Yeah. and now you rocking with a man that's a made fucking mogul. Yeah, we could do this for a whole hour Superstar on the intro. Superstar J, I want you to give yes. this man the yeah. proper <laughs> salutation. Hey, yo, what man. up, B? <laughs> salutation. Yeah, did you hear him say, what up? B, yes. talk to me. What up? What's good? I want to hear Daddy this. is in the motherfucking building. Yes, What's up? Man. Yeah, we here. Yo, yo, Diddy, you see I had to um had to get the Elysee and all that. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. we money making right here. M-M-M. <laughs> M-M-M. <laughs> so what's going on? Let's get right to business, man. Yeah, let's M-M-M. get to it. M-M-M. Yeah, M-M-M. Tell, what, what is the this? The hustler's uh, thesis, we've man. We've been seeing, you, you've been dropping these, I want to say, like, very, very uh, motivational. Yes. Pieces yes. on Twitter, social, yes. Grant, social yes. Instagram, and all that, man. Tell us a little bit about MMM. What is this? What is this? This piece of work about? Yeah, it's it's a body of work that was, um, you know, just inspired from the, the, the to make a long story long. Since we, we got some time, yeah, right? we, we got, got some, some time. time. Okay. okay, check it out. Two so, hours. <laughs> so check this out, y'all. Um, so, man, I, you know, I guess, I guess, I guess that when um, Pain the Full came out, I guess I was in such a competitive mode mm-hmm. that um, I had a, you, you ever had like those those rare lunar eclipses that happen once every like That's 30 years, years or something, yeah. Yeah, I think I hated or something. I think I was a sucker <laughs> and didn't go see the movie. <laughs> okay, he was like, what the fuck? <laughs> wait, wait, I, I gotta make sure I heard yeah, this clear. Yeah, yes, you yes, Puff Daddy. Puff, you're from Harlem. You yes. didn't see Pain and Full. I saw it. Okay. I think I saw it on bootleg. Oh, uh, well, you can't. That's Diddy though. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Okay. I'm telling y'all the thing because I was moving. Mm-hmm. I'm, in, I'm, I'm, I was moving heavy. You know what I'm saying at this time. You know. Yeah. And so I just, I'm not saying I didn't see it during that time. I'm talking about really going to see it and appreciate yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And um, and the only, I don't know if I was. The only thing way I could rationalize it is that I was being a sucker. Mm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he like this is a fucking that, cult classic right here. Yeah, this is a this is a yo. Know, so I'm watching the joint and I'm like, oh my god. Damn chills, Dash, chills, speechless. I'm like, damn, Dash is like Scorsese. This should have won an Oscar. <laughs> I wanted to protest, wow. but I was like 20 years late. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. But no matter what, it it had the impact on me and the influence on me at that right time. I was yeah. just like, yo, this is the path that I was supposed to follow. I'm looking at myself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I wanted to tell the whole story just about how I how I got to it to this point. So as as um I'm um I'm digesting the movie that I saw, I was just like, man, imagine if like um, you know, Mitch you know, didn't die, didn't get killed, and uh-huh. was able to take them skills. This this certain genesis qua hustlers, talk to mentality. You know that that never say no to understanding the opportunity. And what if he was able to take those skills and 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 use in the world of business, the game, the legal game. Yeah. And so that's what it's about. I'm not trying to be money making Mitch. Don't call me money making Mitch. I'm not trying I'm trying to be a drug dealer. Right. It's not about that. It's the it's the hustler spirit. Right. That you see. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? In somebody. Like you see Rocky It don't mean you're a boxer But you can see yourself in Rocky you win, yeah. so When you run up them steps You yeah. feel that You feel <laughs> that feel <laughs> Yeah yeah So so you know It's, 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 it's the inspir- it, was, it just reconnected something with me mm-hmm. Being from Harlem I felt like the sound was gone Our vibe was getting I don't know what it was I don't know what's going on mm-hmm. You know we all like kind of got out of our lane. That's what's going on. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We got up in other lanes. I even did it on, you know, on Big Homie and um, I Want the Love. I got up out of out of lanes. I'm, you got I'm glad you I actually, said, like, yeah, I actually yeah, liked yeah. that record though. Yeah, yeah. I like the record too. I still it was love a good it. Record. Yeah, I'm just saying <laughs> it wasn't no, in my lane. It was a yeah, good yeah, record. Yeah, 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 but yeah. I want to be very honest with you. Yeah. I want to be very, very please, honest because I please. saw a lot from, from, a, from 93. Yes, yes, sir. Please. When I heard that song, I was like, this is cool. I like the cinematography. This is really dope. But this ain't puff. Yes. 
And I, I don't know Amen. if that had to do with like you Amen. know the name change. And I'll keep it even more honest with you because yeah. I feel like we family. We in this VIP right now. Yeah, Puff Daddy, glad he's back. Right, you didn't like the Diddy change. When you name, when you <laughs> change your name, and yo, you did great things for hip hop. I don't talk about this behind the scenes. We yeah, arguing yeah, yeah, too. No, I don't want to. I don't want to disrespect that part. No. But when you change the name, I was like, am I ever going to see my man again? Yes. Is he ever going to be right look here? Look at again? me, nigga. And look at him. And when you said, when I heard, when I heard me, fit in the look, man. Yo, say it. Stand up. Just Hold on, we gotta all stand it. up. You... No, look, when you say, I want you to do hear you this. Feel the I, I got, do, I, do you look, see the look, change? Look, look, I gotta get this shit off my chest. Get though. it off your chest. When baby. I heard Finna get loose, yeah, and you said. You motherfuckers forgot about me. Yeah. I said he's back. God yeah. damn it. I said he's back. <laughs> this is yeah, my man, man right here. Yeah, yeah, your man, you. your man is back. Your man is back. Thank you. Now, thank you for waiting. Now, now thank I was, you for waiting. It was a long wait. Hey, yo, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna, <laughs> yo, B, I'm gonna tell you, it got so crazy. You know what I'm saying? It just got it's it's been so crazy. The ride has been a beautiful mm -hmm. ride and it's had to go through different journeys and different evolutions. You know what I'm saying? I had yeah. to wait to bring him back when I was able to handle the responsibility. Cause the boy's a wild boy, man. I'm <laughs> the boy's a wild boy. Well documented. <laughs> well documented. You know what I'm saying? It's so you you know you know, but you go through your, your different things you, you in, in life, and you just like um you know that's that's the beauty of it. If you could come back and find yourself, see, I'm on a mission to get back to the four year old kid that I was. Mm, okay. You know what I'm saying? So daddy's on. Yeah, I and mean, if you think about it, uh, my girl was telling me this. She was just like. If you think about the essence of who you are, is who you was at four years old. If That's you a fact. if you lose throughout throughout life, we lose who that is. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And and if we could ever get a chance to get back to that, so this is just this is this is me getting back to that one day. Like you know, when I'm old and everything, I want to have that joy and that fulfillment and that just yeah. that that just positive outlook on everything and. That thing you have when you're four years old, it may sound a little crazy to y'all out there, but if you think about it, it's really, it's really real. True so story. it's like you want to, mm -hmm. you want to get back to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause do this whole process, you lose a lot of yourself, no matter what it is, whether if you Puff Daddy or your name is Jerry or, or Teresa, whatever it is, we all go through our journey. Right. You got to fight to keep yourself. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, this, this, this wave that, that I'm on now, it's just more evolved. It's, it's, it's I went from me to we. You know what I'm saying? I gotta give. I gotta give back. I gotta share the blueprint. You know what I'm saying? I gotta be there to not just show. Boom! I got it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? More into this is how how I actually got it. Cause I know I gave birth to a whole generation army of hustlers when I was coming up. Everybody just wanted to be a ball player or, or, or drug dealer. You know what I'm saying? Now you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this, this is the lane, <laughs> this is the lane. Come on up, come on over right, in this lane right. and own something and take care of your family and get up and care about who you are, what you are, your, your fingernails dirty. Stop playing with that, that ain't taking you nowhere. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Come get, with the, come get with this fly. You know what I'm saying? Yes, we get manicures and pedicures. Yes, yes, I need some lip <laughs> yes. balm right now. We stay hydrated. <laughs> stay hydrated. Can, can we get into yeah. a record on, on, off the MM project real mm -hmm. quick? I think but, we should. Diddy, you need to pick this record, hey, yo, man. Say, I want to play the first record. I want to play the intro um, um you know the fairy tale i mean facts facts i want to play facts because it's, it's just so important just to play it to set the whole tone so y'all understand what it's about man. And, and you know that's a street sling right now because you know oh, when, when shit is real facts facts you think i'm 150 years old or something <laughs> nah, well, we got, yo, that's a street term yo facts <laughs> no no but no we got we got we got to let hey, somebody yo, else know because uh, oh, you know okay, we got a lot of old listeners oh, here yeah, i got you i was talking to me i was like yeah, 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 yeah. somebody in wisconsin like what is that what is that me. Facts. Yeah, facts, you know what I mean? So let's get into facts. VIP. Yes, sir. VIP Saturdays. This the homie Great Rizzy. Superstar J. And the big bro is still in the motherfucking Puff building, daddy. man. Puff daddy. motherfucking daddy. Yes. He Harlem is World's in own. Here, man. Yeah. <laughs> Ciroc Saturdays out in this bitch. Blue Dot Nights, man. Blue Dot Nights. Nah, I gotta get the Apple now, man. Yeah, the Apple's coming, yeah. man. I yeah. was coming. <laughs> you got yeah. people going crazy. Now, yeah. one time, I got to ask you about it. Uh, you remember when they put out a yeah, fake Yeah, we were taking, our, taking our street smarts, and we, you know, just, you, <laughs> it's just what I said in the intro. That's all I'm trying to tell you, man. That MMM, I'm you know, that, that, that's what it is. It's like every superhero needs their theme song. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Every every team needs their anthem. You know what I'm saying? And this movement right here, that's the music I made it for because things done change. Don't nobody want no handouts like as much as they used to anymore. And the real ones, they up, they getting up and getting out. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? To get something. Mm -hmm. And um, you know that that that's 
that's Harlem, man. That's that that's Harlem. That's Harlem. the way Harlem sounds. It sounds like we hustling. It sounds like we out there. That's that's the, our New York state of mind. Yes. We yes. lost that and we, you know, I don't know, we got crazy. Like are we there's gonna, a lot we, of double cupping gang banging this and that we from New York, <laughs> man. What are, in are the we, hell? This is New York. This is New are we York. We're gonna get the poster board again, man. All of that. On Times the, Square. The snipes and all that. You know what I'm saying? Cause that, oh, that oh. that's motivation. Yeah, no, when no, you no, had no, that no, so no, long. Yeah, yeah, but let me tell you something so dope about it, B. You, you never oh, seen that billboard. You never yeah. seen you never seen a person of color ever that big in Times Square. Yes, salute. And then and then after I gave that joint up for financial perp reasons because mm-hmm. it, it wasn't I wasn't getting my ROI, the return on my return investment. On investment. Yes. It was it was a good look. I kept it for three years just for vanity because I Welcome wanted to, to see New York myself. City. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's a it's a great investment, but then you know. You start thinking like no, no, no. I had to, I had to pull back on the purse strings. A little no, a longer story, yeah. but, <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. But, but 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 then Nas was up there. Yeah, yes, I was. Yes. I was even prouder. And kind of the same pose a little yeah, bit. I was even prouder to In see the same that my man, another one of us, is up there, and we running this city. Mm-hmm. Yes, and, and yo, that's my motivation, man. Well, talk to me a little bit. You, you mentioned Nas and stuff, but tell, tell me a little bit about the collaborations on this project because, because what I've seen, and this is a prequel, if, I, if I'm correct, it's a prequel, right? Yes, yes. And yes. we're getting ready for No Way Out 2. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What I've seen you do is kind of bring the band back together yes. on some Blues Brothers shit with, the, to me, in my opinion, and yes. I think nobody's really going to debate me on this, the most influential in house production team ever, the yes. Hitmen. Yes. You went ahead, you're bringing in some of the artists. Yes. Who you've had such a big, you know, big run with, man. They're part of this. And now yes. you have new artists. Like, I just met Jizzle. Shout yes. out to Jizzle. Yes. yes. Shout out to Jizzle. You know, like, you have Dope. a... How, how are you bringing this all together? And I'm I'm very curious on the timing. Now. Why? It's, it's, it's going back to the essence. If you have a chance to have a, a very long run, mm-hmm. you get to analyze all your successes, um, all your mistakes, and then you may get a chance on a run to take all that information and, um, you know, have some fun. And so my strength is Puff Daddy and the family. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's where I should have stayed. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, <laughs> I agree. Should, I, I should have stayed there. But, you you know, you, you take your risks and your chances as an artist. But I'm smart enough to know to come back. This is your lane. You're the ringmaster. You know what I'm saying? Very good lane, You're too. You're the ringmaster. You're P.T. Barnum. You have to go out there and present to the world and make sure. And now we have Jizzle coming up from the such and such. Mm-hmm. We have the Queen, the legendary mm-hmm. Faith Evans coming from there. Yeah. We have the Locks who's going to come and destroy this. Da, da, da. Mm-hmm. We have Notorious B.I.G. He's coming from the heavens above. The, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. just, that, that's my lane. And and it's, it's just, a, I mean, you know, it, it, this is just what it is. So it's, it's, it's like, this is where I'm at. You know, recognizing you know what what my, what my strengths are, getting getting back to business, uh-huh. and then when you say it took a long time, but just in the in the meantime of that, you know, I did go. You know, um, my eye got off the ball of music a little bit, right? In a sense. Right. But but, yes. but 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 to also say because I had I had some other things I wanted to conquer. You raised like the bar in Ciroc, acting, yeah, yes. Ciroc, acting, um, Broadway, right? Um, running marathons and things like that. Clothing so I kept my kept kept myself busy. You know what I'm saying? Clothing, all those different things. But when you're, you gotta understand when your your foundation, mm-hmm. like like you can have the sexiest one joints in Dubai, five hundred stories high. If mm-hmm. those first ten um, levels start to like get a little shaky, baby, yeah, which yeah. is the music, mm-hmm. and is which your your swag and your it starts to get shaky, and you like oh. That building could crumble, so I had to call in the top engineers mm-hmm. for reinforcement to reinforce this whole Puff Daddy thing, mm-hmm. the whole legacy to make sure this is turned out right. They mm-hmm. reinforced the building. Mm-hmm. We 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 taking it back to the essence of this is what you do. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Puff, was it one point that you was in a club and you because you know you're very relevant on social media. You know you're really. You're very relevant, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. in the clubs. You still go to the clubs, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Was it one point that you were sending the VIP and you was like. I need a fucking Diddy run real, real quick. Mm-mm. No, um, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. Like, my run um, is so crazy that even right, if, if, even at whatever day that you would pick, I'm still going to get, if nobody knows I'm in a club, I'm still going to get, like, at least 10 joints played. Yeah, you know timeless I'm, records. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm going to get a section, and I'm cool with that. I, I like to... 
Yeah, I'm I'm a lover. I like to watch other people ball and score yeah. and have some fun and eat and have a good time. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, now nah, I never sat back or ever felt like that. Because to be honest, I, I always felt like I could score at will. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But um, That's the Jordan. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I, but, you, yeah, no, no, no. I felt, I, I feel like I just try to go make the best music that I can. Yeah. And and sometimes even to, to answer that a little bit, you know, more focused is okay sometimes you'll have like what's going that 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 maybe was part of the problem that as far as like when going to a club mm -hmm. and having like a club almost dictate what you're going to make or in, influence you to what you're going to make yeah i never produced like that you know what i'm saying and then i think subconsciously you know what I'm saying? When I went in and I went back in producing, I'm human. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I was hearing other sounds that weren't my sounds. Yeah. I was hearing other bounces that weren't my bounce. Right. So then I just had to, you know, re, you know, re-engineer it and get back on my bounce. And that's what I'm out here doing. Can we get into that record with Future? Yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> MMM, VIP Saturdays. You know what it is. Yep. Money making Mitch. VIP Saturdays, it's the homie Gray Rizzy. Superstar J. And got Mr. Legendary Puff Daddy in the building. Yeah, yeah. man. Now, you know, you just came off of like a, a very successful um, second revolt uh, music conference. Yes, sir. And during that time, what I did is I heard the story, which I knew about a while ago, but you shared a story about you and L.A. Reid. In fact, L.A. shared the story not too long ago, too, on another platform, which I won't say because this is Shade 45 and we're in the yeah. VIP. Oh, yeah. But without a doubt. You, yeah. um, the, the thing about it is that you had a chance to work together and L.A. realized this guy got his own shit. Like, he, he's about to make a, a major, major move. I'm going to put him in, and connect him with the right person, which was Clive Davis at the time. Now you're coming full circle, almost 20 years later. Mm -hmm. what, like, has this right now, is this like, I want to go ahead and have that opportunity to work with this guy? Yeah, without a doubt. I could have been, I could have. You could have got it anywhere, yeah, yeah, with anyone. With, with anybody. Your brand, I mean, brother. Yeah. We, um, you know, you know, he, he's the godfather of Justin. A lot of people don't know that we go oh, back wow. right, like like this is real family, right? And it was almost to a point where I we were like I was saying um, I'm not sure if I want to do this with you because I don't want nothing to affect our relationship. Uh huh. And you know we had a talk. We were just like, well, we just not gonna let that happen. And mm. um, so you know it didn't really you know it was it it was a no brainer to me. You know what I'm saying? This is has been somebody supported me throughout the years. One of the best recommended in the game. He understands me, what I'm, you know, what I'm trying to do and where I'm at in my life. And I love collaboration, you know what I'm saying? I don't do anything that I do by myself. I do it yeah. by working with other great people. Mm -hmm. And so um, it was a natural thing for me, and it's a blessing to, to be rocking with him and his movement over there at Epic. That's nice, crazy. Man. Now, Revolt TV. I, now, I, I watch it all the time. Now, are you going to start considering producing, like, movies, short movies, or, yes, or TV yes, shows? Yes, because yes. I'm going to tell you, what's a cult classic for me? Hollywood Nikki. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. Motherfucker slept on that movie. You know what I'm saying? I don't know hey, how man. I didn't make the movies. <laughs> yo, you see Diddy sitting in, that, in the middle of the street, man, and had that fucking face. <laughs> Puff, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yo, I have to salute you on that, because in brother. the barbershops, motherfuckers still watch that thank to this you, day. If that thank shit you, come brother. on, yo, for, go ahead, man. Get your hair cut. I'm going to sit here and watch this shit a little bit more, man. <laughs> did you feel like that, that, that they could have did a little bit more for that movie? Um... And, you know, in, in the film industry, everything's about time and it's like, you know, it's, it's about money, it's about belief. And mm -hmm. um, a lot of, that's why you see a lot of actors who are great actors in movies and you're like, damn, this went straight to DVD. Yeah. You like, you know, you, you feel like the movie was good and, and it could have got a better push. It's just like the record game, you know what I'm saying? Like you have artists out there you feel should be getting a bigger push. And things like that, but um, it's just the it's just the nature of the game. So you just gotta always put your work out there, mm -hmm. and then um, you know, hopefully people discover it. So it's been like a cult thing for me, whether it's the Hollywood Nikki or, or Made or Monsters Ball mm -hmm. or being on Broadway or even with Get Him to the Greek. These are things that I do, and um, you know, um, I've done I've done a pretty good job in these different yes um, these different films to to build up to if if after I drop this, I want to go in. Um, you know, compete with Kevin Hart and be like the world's most famous, funniest comedian. I could do that. Uh, shit, that, I, yeah. I, I, marathon. I, I didn't think that he <laughs> could do it. I, I, and, talking about that, I was just and, about to say and that. Did he see your face? You was like, hold on, wait a second. <laughs> 
<laughs> nah, I think yeah, you can do it. It's I will, shit. Yeah, I if you ran a it. marathon, when, when, you Look, ended, when you ended that, I was like, damn, <laughs> they is not getting up for the next month. Let me tell you month. something. I live in Harlem. <laughs> I live in Harlem now, and I live on the route where people are coming down. They're probably about a, maybe about two miles away. Yeah. You see the pain in motherfuckers' faces, man. <laughs> I don't know if this motherfuckers hit me, text me all the time, like, yo, I think I'm going to do the marathon. All right, playboy. <laughs> Be cool, you know what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, so if yeah, you yeah. can run that marathon, no I don't put anything past you. But yeah. bigger than the marathon, just talking about the music, what yes. you've done for the culture itself. Yeah. There, there is that. There's no other Puff Daddy since Thank you, me. and that's mm. not no fucking you here in front of me. Mm. And I'm saying this because mm. you're here. Yes. There's no other one. But I'm seeing something now within the family that looks like some grooming. Yes. And yes. me and Superstar Jay was talking about Christian this. man. <laughs> I, I, I see this, something. And I'm like, yo, this. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yo, I, it, <laughs> it was it was crazy. It was like a video game when y'all both was performing together, and he was just like, yeah. and I'm like, and you was doing. I'm like, yo, this is out of out of control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's scary, man. Me and me and him. It's like, it, it's just like we were. It's like we're actually twins, but it's like we them type of twins that's it's like kind of weird to be around because we'll both be doing the same thing at the same time, and it bugs people out because it's like a smaller version. And if you right. remember me at that time and that age, yeah, you're like, you're like yo, so mm -hmm. this time I turn around real quick and I get scared because I think that the younger version of me is standing behind me. Mm -hmm. You know wow. what I'm saying? It makes me jump. Are oh, you getting closer to four? Yeah, yeah, no and, doubt. and and your son. Yeah, and and so. As you go and you have that in your mind and you seeing that as he's saying you taking that journey yeah. and then you turn it around and you seeing like that's where that, that's my hero. Yeah. <laughs> like, yo, <laughs> like my son is my hero. My uh -huh. son is like I'm like yo man, I wish I was that fly, man. You fly. His dude. swag is his swag like, is just swag too much, is man. Like, it's just like yo, it's like you didn't took this thing, baby boy, and you don't really like so he's actually like my coach, my manager, my like I had messed up my my, my leg and um, when I was doing the BT Hip Hop Awards. And so I, I just, I was just like, I need him here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, just, I just need to get him here. I need to make some decisions. And I didn't trust anybody else on the decisions. He was just like, Yo, you would tell me to get out there. You know what I'm saying? And and they were saying like, I couldn't do it. Whatever that, you know, if I mess it up, I'll, I'll be messed up for, for for a minute. You know, all the drama and all. Yeah. That. Mm -hmm. So I embraced all the drama. He came in and he was like, We gotta go. You know what I'm saying? We gotta do it. <laughs> Does he but, feel any pressure with this? Like when you when you say these things, I'm like, I'm trusting you. With these decisions, Absolutely what do you not. think? He doesn't I, feel I, it. Yo, yo, from the get go, he said he was. This is what he was born to do. This is what he's going to do. He would cry from the side of the stage if he couldn't come on stage every night. I'm talking about like he wouldn't let it wow. go. Mm -hmm. Like this is what he was born to do. And we really, I really had to start looking at it and and get on, um, get on my my, you know, you utilizing where I was going as far as from com from a communicating standpoint learning how to communicate better yeah and motivate and inspire like i was able to get that out of my with my kid working with my son mm -hmm. and and not not being so harsh and so to the point you know what i'm saying right but at the same time being harsh and to the point and um so he's helped me with that and and my thing was like okay it's instead of just putting you all the way to cheesecake which I believe, I believe all yeah. the way. Like either y'all want it, work hard. Yeah. Either y'all want it or y'all don't. Let's, yeah, let's separate man. the men from the boys. I was like, okay, I want you to study these. I want you to study Illmatic first. Mm -hmm. I want you to study, um, um, you know, Life After Death. Um, you know, Reasonable Doubts. I mean, I mean, all the classics. I don't yeah. want to feel like I'm leaving one. Golden I want Era. You, I want you to study Run DMC, um, Public Enemy, all that. I want you to write me a thesis out on every joint. Like every week, you'll have that. I want you to learn every song. I want you to dissect, break down every everything that is going on. I want you to start watching the History Channel. I want you to start, you know, what I'm saying, mm, <laughs> well, yeah. all these different things. I started because I was like, if he wants to do this, I gotta. I know everything to do to make the super greatest MC ever. Yeah. Right. So if this is what he wants to do, and that's my son, I'm gonna believe in him. I'm gonna give him all that information. And so you know, I'm really, really grooming him, and um. You know, also just grooming everybody around me from Jizzle to everybody. I've just become a better groomer. Yes. So I think that's what to, to bring the the, the um, you know the answer full circle is that I think I've returned now with Puff Daddy and the family. Mm -hmm. Returned because I'm ready to be that, and I just think I'm a I'm a better groomer, better teacher, and I'm ready to handle that responsibility. Because when that paper was going, I was doing so crazy with the movie stars and the cars and the <laughs> yeah, and yeah the I bet boats. man, and it, it was just hey. I'm not sorry. <laughs> it was crazy, but it, but you know I'm back. You know I'm where I need to be, and believe me, it's better late than never. Trust me, B, and everything's gonna be all right.
you this know? is true. And I want to go like, you, like I said, you got you got the uh, album out, the project MMM, yeah. and it's on Sonic it's on, Motion Picture. Sonic Motion Sonic Picture. Sonic Motion Picture. Let's get it right get together. It it's right. two hours now. We got it on every. We got it everywhere. Everywhere available everywhere. Man, go ahead, check out that iTunes. Go ahead, and check that Apple Music. Everywhere. Check out Spotify, Google Play. Yes. Yeah. Shit, I, I want to say SoundCloud. Uh, SoundCloud. We are we doing uh, like that piff stuff like that? Mixed over there. Yo, yeah, okay. like, understand, right? Before Diddy go, man, Diddy's been Everywhere. in the era when he was doing mixtapes with Stretch Armstrong, the Bad Boy mixtape. What's Come your on. website? No, hold up. My What's website yeah. is um, MMM. That's okay. what it is. This <laughs> yeah. is. That's my website. That's how but, I'm going to answer. But, but look, I want to say, I want to I be clear about something. Yeah. Yo, you motherfuckers, and I say this in the best way. You listeners have it so fucking easy. Puff used to do a remix that would come out on it, like say Uptown Bad Boy. It <laughs> yes. would come out on a CD, and I swear to God, it was only three of them because you could never get one. And if you heard it in a Jeep, if you heard it in somebody's you home, yes. you would steal that shit <laughs> without a fucking question. You would steal it, and it would be in your crib. Now you got the music. Go out and fucking get it because yes. it's fucking hot. Yeah. And no way out. What is that coming out? No way out too. No way out too. You're gonna see the evolution. And you're gonna you're gonna understand. Like, why would you go after a classic? Because I'm gonna show you. There's just it's another time. It's another place And it's another level To no way out Well right? I, I gotta Before you go How's the cover gonna look Cause that was the most Gangsterous cover ever <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, uh, yeah, yeah. And that's real That <laughs> yeah, was a yeah, real yeah, yeah. Bold cover Yeah yeah it's, it's gonna be authentic To what's going on With me right now So at the end of the day You know that That's what I've learned If you're telling the truth of, of, of what you're going through Right at that moment Then that's the truth You know what I'm saying So um, I can't tell you <laughs> that, 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 that cover right there is super fly, super dope. What exempl exemplifies fly for you? What, what's fly? Give me three things that's fly. Mm. Just on some hot shit. Like things that you need to have Before you to go. come hang out with Puff Daddy. You got to have a tuxedo. Okay, that's one. <laughs> All right. I'm going to just tell you, I mean, that, 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 that right there, when, I, when the word fly, or somebody says that, uh -huh. I just think of tuxedo. I think about my pops and all of them, the way they was doing it. You know, everybody else, you know, just what I came up with. And hum, that's what I think is fly, is a tuxedo. Okay. That, that's number one. Um, number two. No, nah, no, nah, it's, so, it's so clear. Like, a woman or a group of females that really really have some substance mm. and have something to say. I'm writing all this down. You know what I'm saying? There's <laughs> nothing more valuable or sexier than that. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? That's a fact. Like, that's going to help you all the way. I love you and your boys. <laughs> <laughs> Fantasy football and all yeah. that's cool. But it usually Bumping stinks. Chances, but, but, yo, <laughs> usually believe funny. me. Believe me that, you know, you get that... <sighs> Man, I mean, it's, I love hanging out with women. You know what I'm saying? True me that. too. And it's just like, but not, not on no, just, just somebody that got it together. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like that's fly. I can't say I'm always fly. I've always, always been. I'm Ninety eight percent though. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I, I stay, I stay fly. And what, and what about to... one more? One more. We got the tux and we got the ladies. Puff is thinking. No, 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 no. Because because even because it was fly to me. Also, there's one thing that I can't say that that I have accomplished that I'm trying to add to my fly. Is is this this is is grace? I'm looking for grace right now. So look big word right there. Up, gr yeah, grace. I'm looking for grace. Mm -hmm. If I get this grace on y'all motherfuckers, it is over. <laughs> That's you're, a gonna, fact. you're gonna induct. You're gonna make me a fucking saint. If I get grace, <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna make me a saint while I'm alive. You're gonna make me a saint. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah. man! And I know this. That's I know fly. That's fly to me. If I had the tuxedo, the so ladies drops mic and some grace. Yeah, grace. <laughs> I know the answer. Is Puff Daddy fly? Because I've been waiting twenty minutes for this fucking answer, man. I mean, twenty years. Is Puff Daddy fly? What the fuck you think, motherfucker? <laughs> that's what the fuck. <laughs> My man is back. He's yes, back. Puff, Puff Daddy, man. man. What the he fuck you think, baby? Man, thanks for coming out. Yeah, man, man y'all appreciate y'all. And please, whenever Ciroc or Deleon can sponsor your VIP thing, I don't know the rules and regulations here, but just oh, yes, let sir. us oh, know. Oh, no, I just made let the call now. Yes, yeah, sir. yeah, just let us know um, immediately. Oh, I made yes, the call. Sir. Immediately. Yes, sir. We would want to be the official sponsors of this thing y'all got VIP going Saturday? up. Yeah, because and, and we can have the yeah, you know, we can have all product all placement. Yeah, we can do all every, you, you, every hey, interview. Yo, check this out. I know I could tell that you a hustler. I can smell, <laughs> smell the money. Product placement. I know she's a hustler. I know him. I know you put that outfit together. You got... Ooh, you, <laughs> <fucking> <laughs> <little boy laughs> you gotta say I'm a hustler. Now. What? <laughs> Got them Cortez on. 
Yo, look, uh, look, uh, look. Uh, we should, we, 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 yo, this, 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 look, this, you know, this should water. be. <laughs> said, the water should be in product placement. You know what I mean? Hey, right hey, right I, yo, yo, yo I've right. empowered, no, I've empowered you to go. <laughs> all you had to do that was, was go. Rude. No, no, I got you. you I would etiquette. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> etiquette. I got that. See, see, this is this is what I gave birth to. I right, keep my shoe up, man. Yeah, keep the shoe up. Yeah, Put but, it up but, but hopefully, guys, this won't be the last. You know, I do a lot of interviews, man. I but, hope but I not. Love, I love y'all vibe, man. I love when Appreciate I'm hearing y'all, and it, it's just the things that and, and where y'all at. And I could just see, I could tell some things don't need to be said, man. And it's just like we gonna link, we gonna connect because yes. I'm back, and everything's gonna be all right. All yes, right, sir, man. <laughs> VIP Saturdays. Thank yeah. you for listening. Keep Ciroc it locked. Saturdays. Let's go. So rock Saturdays. M, 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 get that ride to it. Get that money to it. Yeah. Yes. Happy birthday, pop. Yeah.